OpenBSC 7.7 is the 58th release of OpenBSC, which is available to download since April 28, 2025. Let's explore the key enhancements and features that are noteworthy for this release. So on the system management controller, there is a small enhancement for M1 MacBook. I am not entirely sure what it does, but it's supposed to actually improve this SMC on M1. There is a optimization which makes the kernel on ARM64 to build 5% faster and this is the technical detail which is optimized pmap teardown by skipping TLB flushes. To be honest I don't know what it is but now if you want to build a kernel for the ARM64 platform you get like 5% better performance. On the pointer authentication codes we have an improvement for the ARM v9 CPUs which apparently mitigates return oriented programming or ROP attacks. Let's move to the AMD64 enhancements. The majority of them are related to support OpenBSD as a guest VM on QEMU better. There is a nice improvement or nice touch that is done here on better handling the uh, out of memory situations, which actually ensures better system stability when you are actually facing out of memory. All this stuff, which is actually called called symmetric multiprocessing. They are resulted in the TCP stack to now support parallel execution for output and timers. What does it mean? We don't know. The most important thing is that it actually enhances network throughput and responsiveness. So we should have better network throughput in this release. On the direct rendering manager and graphic drivers, and now the DRM first of all is updated to Linux 6.12.21. For the AMD GPUs, now we have support for Ryzen AI 300, Strix Point, Strix Halo, Kraken Point, and also Radeon RX 9070, aka navy 48 and also intel drm now supports arrow lake that means openbsc actually is keeping up with the latest hardware quite well and that's fantastic it's not just oh openbsc is is good for the old hardware no it, you can run it also on the new hardware if you wish and this one is actually my favorite one is a small en enhancement but i think is a very nice touch so the CCT, uh, cctl utility now supports loading multiple settings from a file using actually dash f flag so it kind of simplifies a bit the system configuration so to say and now xhci and uvideo support usb3 these are two different drivers which is good but let's say it's a bit late for the network driver supports we have a driver for intel e810 ethernet and that's added as ice driver also on the wi-fi side we have support for qualcomm a2066 and this one is added to the qwx driver which actually is a step forward again and moving on to the bottom of the page we have in this release on the ARM64, we have 12,446 packages available. And for the AMD64, we have 12,593. The gap is almost non-existent and I kind of assume these stuff are really not that important. So I would say, or at least I would dare to say that you can actually, if you get the ARM64, let's say hardware, if any exists, you can pretty much use OpenBSD uh, on it as if that you're running it on the a any AMD64 platform. As you can see, number of the packages and software supported are quite well actually so some highlights about the version updates so this version of the openbsc 7.7 is shipped with chromium 135 genome 47 kd plasma 633 mozilla firefox we have two version as always the normal version 137 and the long-term version esr 128 
and also we have xfc 420 that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed it have a great time cheers